If you want to eat healthy food, tasty food, and on top of it, that will be good for your blood sugars, then my recipes are for you. I will put at the end of this video the detailed carb content and if you want to have a more in-depth description of the recipe, please click on the link in the description. Number one, put your oven on. Mine is at 200 degrees Celsius, so put that on because your quiche will be ready in no time. So you will find that I have pre-cut bacon bits and three and already cut uh, mushrooms. Then all I need to do is chop an onion, I chop it thinly and then in a pan where you've already put a, a tablespoon of, of olive oil. The bacon has to cook first because it will need to brown a little bit. So first for maybe five minutes you start cooking the bacon. Then you will add the onions so they start as well becoming melting a little bit and the last thing you do is you add all your mushrooms. Sprinkle with some herbe de Provence. Mix it and then let it cook under medium heat. Whilst this is cooking, you will need now to focus on the pastry. So I am unrolling some puff pastry and you want to put it uh, onto an oven proof dish. Remember to keep the parchment paper at the bottom. You just pierce little holes in it. Do it with a fork, it's a little bit better than with my knife. And then you can set it aside. Then we will focus now on the inside of what you will put inside of that quiche. In a bowl, break the three eggs. You want to start mixing them up uh, before you will add the milk and the cheese. Do not add any salt because there is already a lot of salt from the bacon. So it is better that you add salt once it's cooked, if you feel that you're missing salt uh, in your recipe, then you can add it yourself rather than just make a mistake and just have it really, really salty. If your bacon and vegetables and mushrooms are ready, uh, you have to make sure that they cool down a little bit before uh, introducing them to either you put them into the egg mixture and then you mix everything together, then you pour it onto the, um, the pastry or you just pour the mushroom and bacon mixture first onto the pastry and then you will add and pour the egg mixture on it. Make sure it is all equally distributed. I would recommend eating this quiche with a big salad on the side and I would also recommend eating the salad first. So remember, salad first, then the quiche. For another quiche recipe, please look at this one. It's a salmon one and it's absolutely delicious.